Oh, what's good everybody? Out here just enjoying a little bit of the weather on the start of December. Kind of hard to do that because it's 62 degrees out here in Nashville right now at the start of the month. Is it really gonna cool down? Are we gonna have some Christmas-like weather? Well, we shall see. Well, let's get to this video. What's good, everybody? Happy holidays. Trying to go with the red and green theme here. Trying to keep things PC. So whatever it is you celebrate this time of year, happy celebrating. Quick question before we get started today. Did you have a good Thanksgiving and better yet, Black Friday? Did you take advantage of any of the Black Friday plugin sales that I talked about? Some of you mentioned that you had some issues with getting plugins that you had to put a credit card on file. Some places will have you do that. But today's video is all about where you can get more free plugins, six of them to be exact. If we head over to the Plugin Alliance website, I'll show you what to do. Before I get started in this video, I just want to let you know that I am not sponsored by Plugin Alliance. That is not yet. Just wanted to make that clear. But I do have a friend of mine, Joe Carroll here in Nashville of Treasure Isle. Yeah. So he's not only sponsored by Plugin Alliance. He does a lot of videos with them. He is sponsored by Warm Audio. We may or may not be visiting Joe in the near future. Here we go. Right here, Plugin Alliance. Join Plugin Alliance and receive six premium plugins. All you have to do, follow the prompts. Create an account now. First, last name, email address, password. I'm not a robot. I'm a real person with no hair. And uh, just follow that. Let me log in and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, logged into my account here with Plugin Alliance. The first thing you'll see is your account, orders, invoices, and plans, licenses, and plugins. Manage your licenses. Here's all the free plugins that I have. Brainworks BX Clean Sweep V2, BX Rock Rack V3 Player, BX Solo, BX Subfilter, Alicia Nivea Filter, and the Sheps Double MS, and the SPL Free Ranger. All very good, solid, free plugins, no credit card required. Yes, I'm getting some free plugins today thanks to Paul V. I'm getting six of them, but what did they do? Why would I spend the time to get these? That is a great question. Thank you for asking. And I'm about to show you what they're gonna do for you and your mixes. Here we go. If we go to manage your licenses, click on the first one, BX Clean Sweep V2. What is this? Well, let's take a look. Let's click on it here. Here's the overview, but features. Continuously variable high and low pass filter. This is a filter. Separates knobs for high and low frequencies. You have a joystick on here. Kind of like if you're playing Atari or one of those things, you've got a joystick in the middle. It allows you to sweep through your frequencies. Makes things really easy to find frequencies. Fully automatable EQ knobs can be set to precision mode or shift clicking. Let's take a look at the next one. Brandworks Rock Rack V3 Player. What the heck is this? So this here, Looks like a uh, guitar amp, right? Well, let's look at it. Here's your overview. It's an amp sim. Features, 26 presets featuring eight powerful guitar amp models in one plugin. That's a decent amount for a free plugin. Clean 800, clean channel from the Marshall JCM 800 2210. Crunch, clean, lead, jazz, crunch, modern rock and metal. There's some audio examples for you to listen to. Master output control allows you to adjust volume to taste. Use sounds from growling metal mayhem and soaring battle leads to crisp and clean jazz riffs all in one amp sim. There you go, if you need something like that. Let's move along. Brainworks BX Solo. Overview, features, left, right, channels, mono, sum, mid signal solo, stereo differences, side signal solo. Stereo with control, fully automatable. Mouse over direct access. Just type in any valid number to the text fields and direct access to the exact value. So basically one plug in here. It lets you solo things left and right and then uh, stereo width. Pretty cool. BX sub filter. Features, tight, 
punch knob implements a resonant high pass filter that's especially formulated for cutting problem frequencies in bass heavy tracks. So basically you can use this on your low end or your bass guitar tracks. Resonant selector applies three peak settings to the filter, low, high, and extreme input output gain controls for level matching and preventing clipping. Yep, here's your gain, tight punch, low in your level and your gain out. Let's move on. I think you say this Alicia Nivea filter, I don't know, but let's look at this. Again, about two different knobs. This is an EQ, overview features, tilts frequencies towards the highs and lows, balances the frequency spectrum of your mix, EQ gain boosts or cuts, Frequency variable between 26 hertz and 22 kilohertz. So pretty much the entire frequency spectrum and again, totally free. So nice EQ. Moving along, Sheps, double M, S, Sheps. Andrew Sheps, the guy with the cool beard and long hair. Let's take a look at this. Double M, S, mid side. Overview features, easy decoding of the double M, S microphone signals to your stereo or surround. Intuitive real time control of the virtual microphone parameters, real-time display of the virtual microphone patterns in a colored polar plot window. I had trouble saying this one here, so I'm just gonna highlight it for you to read. So basically allowing you to manipulate your mid side spectrum there. And last but not least, the SPL Free Ranger. These are dope. What is this though? Let's take a look. So another EQ overview features, Four EQ bands, 40 hertz, 150 hertz, 1.8 kilohertz, and 16K. Four buttons for easy comparison between EQ settings and automation during a song. So this one here is basically like an old school EQ where you have all these frequencies and you can either boost or cut. So pretty cool for some free plugins. Your bass, you have EQ, you've got filters, mid side processing. So go ahead and get this bundle. Just showed you how to do it. Let's move on. Once you've created your account, you've got those. How do you actually get these downloaded? By doing this. We'll want to go up here to installation. There's two ways of getting this. If you have a PC, there's a download for that. If you have a Mac, there's a download for that. So here's the system requirements, Mac, PC. Hit that right there, whatever your platform is. Once you've downloaded that, let me show you what to do next. You'll get an icon that looks like this. Plugin Alliance Installation Manager. Here is my account. If we go to my products, here's my free products. So you'll just basically click select all and then download and install. Bam, it is that simple. That's how you can get six free plugins from Plugin Alliance. Let me show you some other cool things about this company. I thought it would be good to give you a little bit of a background about this company. For some reason, I thought that they were founded in Germany, but they're actually based in Wilmington, Delaware, and then they have offices in Santa Cruz, California. Let me just tell you that my personal experience with Plugin Alliance has been stellar. I've got two accounts. I created one before I really knew what I was doing. I just wanted to get the free plugins. And then I got a little more serious and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna create my legacy studio account. I got the same plugins there and I've actually subscribed to a bundle now. So now that you've joined the Plugin Alliance family, you've created your account and got your six free plugins, I wanna take just a little bit of time to tell you more about the paid plugins. Now you can get these in a couple of different ways. You can purchase things individually or you can get some bundles. You can pay for the bundles up front, or you can take that overall cost and break it down into individual monthly payments. Now that's what I do. Let's go up here and look at these products. If we go to products here, this takes us to a page where it showcases the most popular current bundles at the time of this filming. We have the first one here, the Essential Bundle, more than 80 plugins for an amazing price, only $10 a month. If you're a crazy coffee guy like myself, that's only forfeiting about one Starbucks coffee for this amazing plugin bundle. Totally hella worth it. Let's move on. We have the Mega Bundle, 180 plugins for about $25 a month. Now, this is the plugin bundle that I subscribe to. And here in just a moment, I tell you about some of the great features and product benefits of being a subscriber to this bundle. You can also get this for this amount for the year. Let's go up here and take a look at a couple other things. If we go to brand bundles, 
we have an Ampeg bundle, six bucks a month. The BX bundle, not sure how to say this, I think Alicia bundle, pretty cool. The Lindell audio bundle, Tobias, you're amazing. The Mog bundle, I think is how you say it. The SPL bundle, solid, solid, solid. A lot of these are included in the Mega bundle and we'll go over that here in a minute. And the unfiltered bundle, and if you are a big baller, this one might be for you. This is the Mega Bundle Perpetual. Everything that Plugin Alliance makes for only $12,000. You know, that's pocket change. Not for me, but some of you guys out there. Now let's go back to the top and I'm gonna show you what's included in the Mega Bundle. Here it is in its entirety. What we've got is 138 plugins from companies like SSL, Solid State Logic, Focusrite, Ampeg, Brainwork, Shadow Hills, SPL, Unfiltered Audio, and many, many more. Let's take a look. We've got this amazing flanger, Metric AB. You need to know about this. What this allows you to do is take your mix over here and compare it to a radio ready mix or a song that's already out there on Spotify or maybe Apple Music. You can listen to your mix, see if it compares sonically, if your depth, if your effects are right, you can make sure that your spectrum analyzer is good. You can make sure that your volume and your loudness is great too. Check it out if you can. So many kudos to the Plugin Alliance engineers for creating this. Moving along, we've got a lot of analog emulations here. This is one to speak about, the black box analog design. You pop this on your master fader and this gives you a world uh, depth, analog warmth, some grittiness, and just some of the analog flavor that you're missing. Here's some more analog emulations. Now let's talk consoles. If you've been following me for some time, you know about a year ago, I went to strictly using Focusrite interfaces and preamps. Here's one that is a Focusrite emulation. It's the Focusrite SC console, SC or studio console. I haven't had these spirit fingers on one of those yet in my lifetime. I say yet because there's only about 12 of them out there in the world, but this is a great emulation. And here's a few of my favorites. We've got the BX console in great analog flavor, but we've got the console SSL 4000E, 4000G and the SSL 9000J. When I was a student at SAE Institute here in Nashville, we had Whitney Houston's SSL J9000 consoles. I got to have these hands and fingers on that console, on the faders and knobs. It was such an amazing experience, but this 9000J is a great replication of that analog series. Moving along here, a great delay, VX Master Desk, Metal 2, oh yeah, Opto Pedal, VR Monitor, yeah, Alpha Compressor, Character, Overdrive Supreme. We've got some more like amp and console emulation here. Magnum K, Attacker. Let's talk SPL. Included in this bundle is the Attacker Plus, DSR Collection, Dverb Plus, Drum Exchanger, EQ Ranger Plus, Hawkeye, Iron, Moverb Plus, and then Pass EQ, Transient Designer Plus, and SPL Vitalizer. Guys, this is amazing. If you do that one for like $10 a month, totally worth it. Let me tell you about these. This one here, SPL Attacker Plus. Two knobs, transient, and then you have your sustain. So your transient is gonna allow your punch and attack to come through, and your sustain is gonna allow it to sustain, to add it a little longer. Two knobs, hella worth it, incredible. This EQ Ranger Plus is great. The drum exchanger gives you other drum sounds to use. This Hawkeye, I've been using it recently, pop this bad boy on your master fader and it's a depth and it's a wide array. It's a spectrum analyzer and so many things you can utilize in there. Thank you guys again for that. Moving on, Sandman Pro, and then we've got Matcha. There's a plethora of plugins here, all totally worth it. Great analog emulations. Let's go back to the top and talk about some of the other features and benefits of being subscribed to this bundle. 180 plugins is a lot. Let's say you get this bundle and maybe three months down the road, you think this is too much for me, I'm overwhelmed and I'm not using them. Well, guess what? You can cancel at any time. There's no contract and there's no termination fee. Early in the summer, I had questions about my account 
it was a Sunday. I was at church in between services and I sent an email to their staff here, the customer support. Totally wasn't expecting a response till the next day, but within about 10 or 15 minutes, got a response, got the answers and clarity I needed, and I made my decision to get that particular bundle I just talked about. Something else that's cool in here. If there's a new plugin that hits the market, you can get it at no extra cost, free to download. At the time here, there's one called Warble, and this is the ultimate vintage tape modulation and lo-fi effect. And again, if you know me, you may know that this is something that I'm into. I love lo-fi. I'm gonna get this, put it to use, and maybe do a tutorial about things here. And then one other thing I wanna mention is you can have two licenses. So I use this on my MacBook Pro, then I also use it up here on my Mac Mini. So that way I can use things on multiple devices, put things on a hard drive, easy transfer, yeah. Now let me show you some of these plugins in action. So I'm working on this little ditty for a friend and artist I know, guy that I met last year via Facebook. His name is BC Gucci and he asked me to write him a song. So here's a little snippet of that that I'll share with you. Here it is. Cool. How can we make that sizzle and shine and sparkle and stand out a little bit? Right here on this little drum fill, let's go over here to effects. And if we come down here to audio units, and if we go to plugin alliance, let's check for SPL. All right, here's the free ranger. I think this is a good one to use. So let's do the attacker plus. There it is. Like I said, two knobs. So let's listen to this fill and make some tweaks to see if we can make this drum fill stand out a little bit. Here it is, dry, no effects. All right, so let's come up here and on the attack, let's crank this. Let's pull it up to about three. All right, and then over here, same thing about two. Yeah, turn that off. On. Notice that over here, check it out. Off. On. Yeah, there's a volume difference and it brings out a lot to that. Okay, cool. So there's that. Let's go to our master fader over here. Let's pull up, not Waste Factory. We'll go back up here to Plugin Alliance. We'll go back to the SPL again and we'll put the uh, Hawkeye on here. So let's listen to that little loop and check out all this has to offer here. There's a drop, our low end. Not a whole lot of mid-range information. A couple spikes here. Your spread, right here, phase, overall levels. We are sitting at negative 16 UFS, good place to be. RMS meters. Yeah, so that's just a couple things in action. Let's see, what else can I show you? Let's use an SSL. So now let's take a look at this bass line right here, this Contrails bass. And let's add an SSL 4000E to this. If we go to audio effects and come down here to audio units, plugin alliance, and this one's up at the top. So it's listed up here on the BX console. There it is. Let's just do a preset here. Let's go to, let's see, bass synth A by itself, solo. Yeah, we got some little clarity in the high end in context with everything else. Yeah, so it really brings out a lot of clarity on the SPL, it brought out a lot of punch and attack and really brighten up the little tom fill. So that's just a couple examples. And then, oh yeah, can't forget the Hawkeye. Hella great on showing you your overall levels, 
analyzer, your frequencies, everything seems to be pretty good, it shows you your LUFs and everything like that. So that's just a little overview of what some of these plugins can do for you. All right, let's move on. This has been my spiel on the Plugin Alliance brand of plugins, and I showed you some of their bundles. In the start of the video, I showed you how to go to their website, create an account, basically following those prompts, confirming your email, going back to the site, we went to the top to download the plugin installation manager. Once we logged in there, showed you how to download your six free plugins. Then after that, I showed you some of my favorite features and benefits of being a subscriber to the Plugin Alliance Mega Bundle. And then we went a step further and showed you how to put three of these plugins to use in a logic session. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I appreciate you. Maybe hit those thumbs up if you gained any knowledge today. Think about smashing that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell if you like today's content so that way you can see more great videos just like this one. All right, guys, I'm out. Stay safe and healthy and have a great holiday season. I will catch you in the next one. My name is Paul the Fifth.